Top tips for easier sheepdog training. Part six, is your training area suitable? As well as getting the right sort of dog and stock, another essential ingredient for starting a dog successfully is the right sort of training area. As we saw earlier, the stock see the dog as a predator and their natural reaction is to run away from it. An untrained dog is more likely to run after the stock and chase them further away than it is to circle them and hold them close to you. So it makes sense to contain the animals in a small area at least until the dog can control them. Lie down. Sheep that are being pursued by dogs are experts at using corners, trees, bushes, undergrowth and any obstacles or even other animals to make it difficult for the dog to gain control of them. It makes sense to start the dog off in a small area with no corners or obstacles. That's why we use a temporary training ring of about 16 metres diameter to get our dog started. We use sheep hurdles or panels as they're called in the US. They're quick to assemble and can be moved easily too. We arrange them so there are no corners or obstacles for the sheep to cluster around, making it easy for the dog to move the sheep away from the hurdles and gain full control. Perhaps most importantly, the sheep can't run away. It's very depressing if you struggle to get the sheep out of one corner, only for them to immediately run off to another corner. With a training ring, you can concentrate on getting the dog under control and teaching it to keep the sheep under control too. During training, the closer you are to the dog, the more control you have over it. The training ring makes it a simple matter to teach the dog to get sheep away from a fence or hedge. This will be an extremely important task for the dog throughout its working life. Of course, you'll need a far sturdier enclosure for cattle and you should pay particular attention to safety. A handful of sheep running towards you might knock you over, but the risk of serious injury is comparatively small compared to a few cattle running you down so be very careful. On the few occasions when I train a dog with cattle, until the cattle are used to the dog and the dog's working calmly, I prefer to have the dog near me driving the cattle away. I'm sure that's much safer than having excited cattle running towards me, especially in a confined space. Once the cattle are used to moving away from the dog and we can work out in an open field, I'll use the dog to bring the cattle quietly towards me. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to see more of them in the future, use the subscribe button and of course, click the like button too. If you'd like to get a better understanding of your dog and have full access to over 70 tutorials that will help you train it to work sheep or cattle, go to the Working Sheep Dog website and sign up.